only come to music practice to skateboard now. Just got off the phone with somebody about doing some facilitation for a group that they're a part of and am now headed into the chamber office for one last meeting before Leadership Fairbanks starts next week. I'm excited, it's gonna be great. It's Friday and it is going to be fantastic. So good. Now it's time to go. I asked for an uncle, but the crowd all shouted no. I just finished having a coffee conversation with my friend Carla and we talked about a variety of cool things that are going on in her world. One of the things that came up though was a conversation about those moments when you don't act the way that you want to act. I struggle with the same things that anybody struggles with. I struggle with patience and I struggle with being kind when I'm tired. I struggle with just bit my tongue. I struggle with being overwhelmed. I struggle with being annoyed. I struggle with people who drive me crazy. Um, like, I want to transcend those things, and yet every day I'm fighting against them. I, I like to say that my goal in the morning when I wake up is basically to like treat other people the way I want to be treated, you know, to care about other people as much as I care about myself. And that lasts for like 30 seconds. Like I'm, I'm really good at it for about 30 seconds of the day. And then real life shows up and I am impatient and I get stressed out and all this kind of stuff. So my metric for that is not whether or not I've attained some sort of transcendent enlightenment and I am just perfect and I act the way that I want to act all the time, but about how quickly I'm able to recalibrate when I find myself in those situations how quickly I'm able to recognize, man, this is not how you should be handling this. This is not who you want to be, so what are you gonna do differently? And that's hard in the moment. It's hard to be frustrated with your spouse and say, hold on, wait, no, this is not who I wanna be. I'm sorry, let's do this again. Uh, I'm not real great at that. Sometimes it's like an hour later I'm able to get to, get to that. But man, what a powerful thing it would be to be able to catch yourself in the middle and say, no, we can do this differently. There's a more productive, a more caring, a more kind way to do this. So my metric is not whether or not I am the perfect version of myself all the time, because again, I got about 30 seconds of that in any given day. My metric is how quickly I am aware of the gap between who I want to be and who I am being. So, um, if you have ever gotten the misguided impression through any of these videos or anything I've, I've a photo I've posted or something I've tweeted, I don't know, tweet? What am I talking about? Anyway, if you've ever gotten the idea that I have my life together in a, in a real profound way, sorry, that is, that is not the case and I did not intend to give you that impression. What I hope that you're picking up from this is that I am just as flawed and imperfect as anyone watching this. And this is just a way of me working that out and trying to figure out how to be a little better tomorrow than I was today. And then at some point in the future, I will be frustrated about new things because I will have perhaps grown and matured uh, past a few of the things that I struggle with right now. Something like that, that's the idea. Nicole is uh, having a birthday party tonight. Her birthday is tomorrow, so we're gonna celebrate with my family tonight. So time to hit the bricks. Mm -hmm.